Good morning. We are recording from WHIT studio at Eli Whitney Technical High School in Hamden, Connecticut. I am Isaac Rivera from the Whitney Marketing Program. Today, I am honored to have the privilege to interview Ms. Carmen Bernier Grand, a Hispanic author and speaker who is visiting us today. Welcome y bienvenidos, Ms. Carmen Bernier Grand, a nuestra escuela, Eli Whitney Technical High School. Es un honor estar aquí. Estar con ustedes me encantó todo lo que tienen, el arte, ustedes. Pues gracias, te lo agradecemos un, un montón. Este, uh, well, on behalf of our students here at Eli Winnie Tech, we have a couple questions we would like to ask you. Okay, what is your source for inspiration when you write? Hay mucho. Um, primero, todas las the showers I forgot that we were in este, los sentimientos uh -huh. okay um, the showers that God give me of all the blessings that's that's mm -hmm. the first one when I um, haven't been writing in the uh, weekend, I pick up a poem and I uh, recite it. Mm -hmm. uh, a poem from a book. Just I just open a book and do that. But sometimes what happens is that the um, the characters speak to me, including characters that are nonfiction. Real. Like it, when I was writing Teresa, Don Luis Muñoz Marin was talking to me. So that is another inspiration. Oh. I had to quit the novel to mm -hmm. write about Don Luis Muñoz Marin. That's very interesting. A lot of different ways to like write in mm -hmm. different ideas. What has been the biggest challenge you have faced in getting your work published? Publishing in Spanish. No. Definitely publishing in Spanish. I wish all my books would be in English and in Spanish. But it's hard finding a publisher and things like that, which I think we can all agree on. That's right. What emerging opportunities do you think are present for hi Hispanic youth in today's world? Well, in this world, we don't have enough writers mm -hmm. and um, illustrators of um, s different skin colors, mm -hmm. just or languages for that matter. You know, we don't have diverse. There's not enough uh, writers. Not enough. Not enough Which diverse writers and, yeah. and illustrators. Which we yeah. need more of. Definitely. What is the most important message do you hope to leave your reading audience with? Don't give up. Uh, if if you want to do something, uh, really from deep in your heart, you want to do something, you do it. If you want to quit, quit. If you cannot quit, don't quit again. Mm -hmm. Just work hard. Just work hard. What message or advice do you have for the future marketers of tomorrow? Well, they need to know where <laughs> to put some of our books, <laughs> where to place them, and how to show them. I think that if we have more people of colors in marketing, will help a lot. Editors, more editors. Okay. Uh, because they don't, in terms of marketing, many people don't know how to market yeah. these books, and we need- More diversity in, in much marketing. Much more diversity. That you bring up a pretty good point. I mm -hmm. agree. Well, thank you, Ms. Carmen Benier Grant, for meeting with us today. It was an honor and a pleasure in interviewing you today and meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Mucho gusto. Un placer. <laughs>